Hacking Netflix takes a look at Netflix's new media player that supports uh, Macintosh, Safari, and Firefox. And the way you'll know you've got the new player is if you look in the lower right hand part of the screen, you'll see that they now have the bars and setting compatibility notice. Netflix is rolling it out to customers. Uh, everyone should have it uh, by the end of the year. Let's pick a movie to play. I'm just going down. I'm going to play uh, The Mummy. And I've already installed Silverlight. It only takes a few seconds. And you can see it comes up very quickly. And uh, it's prepping, buffering, acquiring the license, and it's playing. Again, this is the Macintosh. It's one take, and it is not sped up at all. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. You can see fast forwarding is quite quick. And buffering is, is fast too. Quality is decent. I've actually scaled the screen at this point uh, to make it as small as possible. It's about a I guess about a quarter of my screen uh, for the purposes of showing you the player but it also has full screen support as well. I'm going to fast forward a bit here to another scene. Let's get another feel for it. And this is connected to wireless 802.11g. Quality's good. I'm going to fast forward to the end of the movie. See, it's very responsive. And buffering seems to be much faster now. Did I mention that it sports Firefox too? On the Mac.